Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. The DLC has dropped. Death on the Vitcher is here. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm so excited. I couldn't even play it on release day. Absolute nightmare. But we're here now. We're ready. And uh, first thing I wanted to do was a literal first look for all the divisions. So this is my... I mean, we've seen some of the detail as we've been here in the developer updates, but I really like doing these first looks so that you can see my literal first time seeing the divisions and uh, and my thoughts on what we make of the divisions. We are, we are going to start off with Falsham Panzer Hermann Goring. The others are coming in videos coming up soon. Uh, I'm going to try and either put them in the description or uh, tag them so you can find them. Otherwise, subscribe and obviously click the bell and you'll get notified. If you haven't done already, if you have done, thanks very much for subscribing. Throw me a like if you enjoy the content. So, Falsham Panzer Hermann Goring, Axis Division, and uh, its rating is B by Eugen. That usually means it's fairly balanced. Um, let's have a look at the description. So, political jealousy in the highest echelon of the Third Reich led to the creation of the Falsham Panzer Division, Hermann Goring. Part of the Luftwaffe, this formation saw action on various fronts before ordered east to prevent the loss of Warsaw. The division took command of many smaller units on location and fought both Soviet troops near the capital as well as Polish fighters inside the capital. The Hermann Goring fields older Panzer 3 and 4 models, but can count on powerful units such as elite Totenkopf Tigers, a large contingent of Jagdpanzer 4s and lots of flat guns. It also excels in urban combat thanks to off-map 600mm mortars and the first two Sturm Tiger prototypes ever deployed. The Falsham Panzer Division Hermann Goring is a solid battle group choice, making up for the lack of armor with versatile and strong support units. <laughs> so, what am I thinking? Panzer 3 and 4s is going to be the mainstay armor units. Want to know what the hell these Totem Cope Tigers are? What are they? No idea. Large contingent of Jagdpanzer IVs, so we'll see how many that exactly is. Lots of flat guns. Um, there was a Luftwaffe division in Normandy as well that had a lot of 88 flat guns, so I'm expecting the same. I guess that's to tie in with the fact that, may, well, maybe it's to tie in with the fact that they were potentially protecting airfields, and so they used flat guns to do that. <laughs> maybe. Off map 600 millimeters. I'm assuming that's what it means exactly here. So I'm, I'm guessing that's a, a railway gun. Usually is. Um, Sturm Tiger. Sturm Tiger. <laughs> uh, everyone's excited to see the Sturm Tiger. So am I. And uh, right, let's get in there. Let's have a look. Volsham Panzer Hermann Goring. Let's check out the recon tab. What have we got? BMW R75, HK, HG, Alfklauer, they look ace. So, looks like just, oh, the HG must stand for Hermann Goring, so the Alfklauer are obviously normal units. Um, what else have we got? The SDKF said 250 slash 10s, and do you know what? I really love the fact they're adding the models to these half tracks. I don't know whether they're all there, but I've noticed that a lot of these half tracks, and especially in Normandy, you've never had the models in them. So I'm loving the fact they are starting to add these models because it looks great. So uh, SDK have said 250 slash 10s, that's the pack 35 6, which could be decent, definitely. Um, New UI, if you've noticed, new text. Some people don't like it, but uh, uh, it's not too bad. Maybe 
different font would have been nicer, but you know, it's not too bad. 250 slash 8, yeah, you see here, they don't have the model, so uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, 250 slash 8, these have the 12 rounds a minute, 2 HE damage, so uh, they've added in little tool tips as well. I don't think these used to be in. So yeah, they're um, these are great at taking on like AT guns and IGs. Well, as long as they don't go down. But if you have a number of them, then they can. Like if you have these behind a tank, the tank will tank, and then these can fo follow up with the two damage and the twelve rounds a minute. So like they can put down what? Th so twelve rounds a minute. That's around. Well, 10 rounds a minute would be around every 6 seconds, so in 18 seconds, that's already fired 3 times, and that's usually enough to take down the uh, AT gun. So yeah, they can be really useful. don't want to spend too much time. I hate these little helmets. I think they're helmets. I've never known what they were before, but I, really, I think they're potentially helmets. <laughs> So we've got the SPW231, more auto cannon units. You know I love auto cannon units, and I really love casting the guys that use the auto cannon units because they're usually really great games. Um, so yeah, definitely excited to see more. The 233s, hey, we've got a little guy in that one as well. <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> So he sat there and then there's the little, uh, that looks like the little periscope, but it's like right in front of him. It looks like he's sat in the wrong spot, doesn't it? He should be back slightly, I think. But uh, anyway, I like the fact there's a model in there. <laughs> so yeah, these are similar. These have got the heat and the AP, but they're similar to the uh, 250 slash 8 in the 12 rounds a minute 2 HE department so yeah great little unit and the Alf Clara Panzer 3Ms love Panzer 3Ms why do I love Panzer 3Ms well it's got the APCR 150 millimeters which is pretty pretty decent penetration but the AP 100 millimeters still good 60% accuracy base accuracy you know, you get a two-star one, you're talking 75% accuracy, 10 rounds a minute. Boom. Love Panzer 3Ms. Right, recon done. HG Ersatztruppen. So we've got the Ersatztruppen. Love the little... I love the, the blue uniforms. They're ace. Uh, HG Ersatztruppen. So... Ozat's Troopin, yeah, a bit out of favour at the moment. Can't say I take them, really. HG Pioneers. Always take Pioneers, love them. Uh, we've got some Pioneer Führers. Love the cannons. And new music as well. I'm hearing new music. Epic. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, yep, all new leaders, all good. Oh, let's have a look. Any new transports? Oh, 251 slash 9. I think that potentially is a new transport. So you can get the... the these are decent. I mean, they're 25 points. But again, like I say, you know, if you get a couple of these behind tanks, they'll take out AT guns fairly easily. So maybe because of the expense using units that you don't bring in many of so maybe like the leaders they're great great to put on i don't know whether you can bring all the units in there so you've got panzergrenz and panzergrenz with fausts i'm surprised it says faust and not pzf but i guess maybe the hermann Göring division calls them fausts <laughs> the uh sturm pioneers mm, not my favorites they're they're great if you get them in the forest, but if they get caught outside that forest, you're stuffed with them. I mean, they've got the smoke grenades, which is better than some units, but st the smoke grenades, still the range 60 meters, that's an issue. They need to go up to 100, at least make it a bit easier for people to use smoke. But um, yeah, it's a bit of an issue for me at the moment. But glide grenadiers, oh my god, the glide grenadiers, the glide units in general, 
amazing. MP44, so strong, so we're going to see a lot more Blue Guy Grenadiers, that's for sure. Valkyr! These look ace! I love the uniforms! I don't... I don't know why. Maybe it's the colours. Maybe this... It just feels different. Yep, 4 MP44, so... Decent. 7 car, car 98s. An MG42 and anti-tank grenades. These are decent units. I'm liking them. 9 in A phase as well. 27 in C phase. I like these units. I like them. They are 35 points. Fairly expensive. I mean, obviously, I would much rather have the Begite Grenadiers. But you're a bit more limited in terms of numbers. Yeah, the 8 MP44s and 3 semi-auto G43s is much better, but you are limited on numbers. And then the HG Pioneer MP44 squad. So 2 MP40s, 7 MP44s, and 3 explosive grenades. This is almost like the uh, Beglite Pioneers. Maybe... This is a really good infantry tab. I am liking this infantry tab. Definitely. I like this... I like this division so far. So tanks, what have we got? Well, we've got Panzer T-34 Führers, which is weird that they're the leader unit. So the leader unit is like... <laughs> the Russian T-34. That's a bit strange, isn't it? That they're the leaders. <laughs> That's just so strange. That the leaders is the T-34. Thirty-fours, but guess, guess, guess it is what it is. Panzer four Gs. I mean, decent. They uh, struggle on the t turret to traverse speed compared to the uh, Panzer four. Oh, okay, that's strange. I th thought the Panzer four Gs had a slower turret traverse speed but guess not I might have to keep an eye on that so it looks like it's just the uh, front and side armor difference now well there's a turn up Panzer T-34 so you can get 6 of them in A phase and 12 in B phase and I like these fast fast tanks not the best gun ever not the best penetration but speed speed I am speed. Can you tell that I'm excited about this DLC? I'm super excited. I've not even played a game yet. Shameful. Panzer 4 H Führers. So yeah, lots of Panzer... Lot, like they said, lots of older models. So true to the description. Here are the Tiger... Well, Tiger E's. I mean, I'm not sure why they're different in any way. Maybe... Oh, look at the crisp paint job. Oh, I'm so in love with this game. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Tiger, tiger. <laughs> so, I don't, I literally don't know what the, if you know what the difference is between these tigers and why they're called tiger something, then uh, drop it in the comments because I have no idea if I'm honest. Let's have a look at the support tab. Foe, Gend Armory. Oh, yes. The big change, or one of the big changes. It's not like a big change, but a change. Foe, Gend Armory, NKVD in the support tab. Still won't get taken. <laughs> Still won't get taken. They need to up the number of them. Like, you only get four of them. Like, HG Flamethrowers, you get nine. Give me more. Give me more Fel Gendarmery. Or just make them leader units. Like, make them actual leader units in the support tab. Bump up the price massively. You know, there's more options. They need to think about more. You know, they can even keep the whole Urzatz Troop and won't fall back thing, as well as being a leader. But they're more expensive and they're in the support tab and they're contesting with your support units. Why not? Just... Throw out different options. I don't know. Fla Flammenwerfer is pretty much a... Or I would say almost a must pick 
in every division. Not quite, but almost. Almost a must pick at the moment. Really strong, and maybe they could reduce the number from nine to six. You know, just to uh, just to just to ever so slightly nerf them, but. Yeah, 251 slash 16 little models in the back. That's a change. Not sure if they've updated all of them. And look at the camo. Little uh, mud, little mud marks. Oh my god. I love it. And the 814 numbering. And look at the way that the camo is like, they're muddy and the numbers are just like covered. Love it. Range is still an issue, 160 meters, it won't really get taken, but I like it anyway. So, the Italian M14. <laughs> it's a tank in the support tab, 25 points. I mean, let's have a look, let's have a look. Hey, Chi. <laughs> yeah, 7 rounds a minute, AP 70 mils. I mean, that's the heat shells. The heat shells have less penetration than the AP shells. And less accuracy. I hope this thing doesn't fire heat shells before AP shells. I mean, what's there's, there's no advantage to having heat shells. I'm hoping that that's a potentially maybe not correct. I don't know. That's just stupid. Being a bit frank there, but two bra Breda machine guns. Maybe that's actually a, a bit more of the damage. But yeah, I mean, 40 kilometers per hour, not the absolute slowest ever. I love the look of that. Oh, look at the little uh, oil cans in the back. Oh my god. Jerry cans in the back. Beautiful, and I love the riveting and the rust. I've not even got it on like extreme settings. I'm on um, high, I think. So maybe there's extra stuff that I'm not seeing. HMMG 42s, 30 points. I thought they were 35. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I like the MG 42s. Big change. Supply trucks, two, four, six. I predicted, I did predict two, four, eight. I don't, I don't know whether I put this out on, on one of my videos, but I predicted a change to two, four, eight. Um, and we got two, four, six. So massive change, lot less supply in the game. Gonna reduce late game arty strats. So uh, it won't really affect 1v1 majorly. I can still, still see people just taking 4 in B phase, really. But might convince people to take 2 in A and then 4 in B to get the 6 total. But um, some people will still try and hold out with 4 in B. So I, I take 2 in A sometimes, especially if I've got like, more half tracks or 82 mil more in A phase that I want to keep resupplied. So... Potentially, Panzer 3Ns, there's a lot of units in the support tab, and not many spacers, so it's going to be crowded in this support tab. Panzer 3N, decent, 40 points, not sure if that's an increase in price slightly, but 40 points, lovely, it's got the 12 rounds a minute, 2 damage, I keep going on about that, but beautiful little tank. The grill. Well, we'll talk about the grill. No unit in the back, but we'll talk about the grill in a minute. 50 points, you can get four of them. In like C phase, you can get 12, but yeah, kind of outdone in this division. The KG Commander. What's KG? Is that just a spelling mistake from HG? Anyone knows why that's KG? Let me know. That look, to me, I'm not sure why that doesn't say HG. But uh, maybe there's some reason. And look at this dude on the left. He's the commander. I love the little smocks they've got. Beautiful. Uh, BEF SDKF said 251 slash 3. 
Commander unit. Oh, unit in the back. With the machine gun. Um, and these are the poles, I believe, for a camo netting. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what they're used for. I always wondered and then uh, found out that it's for the camo netting. So permanent camo net poles. Here it is. Here it is. 120 points. Sturm Tiger. Be Sturmin. <laughs> Sturmin in the Sturm Tiger. <laughs> the RW61 assault gun, which I understand is a mortar that fires 300mm rocket shells or rocket propelled shells. Oh, I can't wait to do some sweet 18 damage, 14,000 blast. Beautiful. 14 HE shells as predicted. 2 kilometer range. Which actually is uh, less than real life, but you know, it's, it's what everything has. Um, <laughs> check this out. One round a minute rate of fire, which is uh, pretty ridiculously slow, but uh, you know, it is mammoth. And it's got a little winch in there, I'm presuming that that lifts the shells um, into the back somehow. They, are, they obviously get a supply truck and they lift them and then drop them maybe somewhere <laughs> I'm making it up but look at that bad boy and these little holes here I read this they're for the um, the the gas the uh, pressure to uh, escape from when fired I'm pretty sure about that if I'm making a major mistake you know let me know but what I was saying earlier kind of uh, <laughs> destroys the grill. No one ever going to take a grill when you can pick a Sturm Tiger. <laughs> Finally, BF Panzer 4H B phase supply truck uh, commander. So A phase, B phase, and B phase commander. I feel like that's a bug. I feel like this should be a C phase commander. But don't tell anyone, <laughs> they won't notice. Anti tank. This video is going a, li <laughs> a little bit long, but I'm so excited. I'm talking about everything. HG Panzer Shrex. Nothing majorly different. Marder ones, little units in the back. Woohoo! Uh, Marder ones. Yeah, nice, nice little 45 point unit here. Um, it's going to be difficult to take in this tab. We'll talk about that in a minute. Pack 3850 mils. Yep, yeah, decent, decent. Pack 40s, decent. Jagdpanzer 4s, beautiful unit. Four cards of Jagdpanzer 4s. Four cards of Jagdpanzer 4s. So they weren't wrong when they said in this that there was a lot of Jagdpanzer 4s. So yeah, you can take two in A phase, four in B phase, and eight in C phase. Eight in C phase, what's that? As I attempt to do maths in my head. What, 32? Yeah, 32. 32 Jagdpanzer 4s could be taken in C phase, but this anti tank tab is pretty difficult. I mean, it does help out the tank tab because at most you get in, oh, and it's two star limited lock, so you get in at most in C phase four Tigers. The rest of your tanks are pretty medium. So, anti tank tab fairly well relied on, but the cost. This is quite an expensive anti-tank tab and there aren't a lot of slots and there's a lot of decent units competing. Like the foot the Marder ones are good units, 45 points, four of them in A phase, and they're basically a pack 40 on tracks. Uh, they are underestimated, they are good units. Pack 40s, great units. I mean they really are fantastic units for the Germans and really they are a standout unit for the Germans against the Russians definitely. Pack 3850s, I mean decent I mean they 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 could pack guns in A phase. I mean you only get one card actually. These won't these probably <laughs> won't get taken. But um because there's so much competing with it but you know they're not bad 
anti-tank guns. They're good anti-tank guns, but when you when you're faced with taking Pack 40s, Jagdpanzer and Jagdpanzer fours, you're gonna pick them every day. Like I imagine a lot of people will pick these Jagdpanzer fours. The downside is they're expensive. They're 95 points a piece, and and the the Sturm Tigers 120 points. This could be. I, I'm not really seeing the income level. I mean, this this could fit quite a few incomes, but yeah, it's well. Okay, I guess it's all interesting, isn't it? It's all interesting. So plenty of flat guns. That's what they said. Flak 3820s, three cards of them. Only one card of Gapards. Unit in the back and uh, kind of clipping through the double armor. The double armor shield with hands clipping through, so uh, maybe needs a little bit of work on that. But shh, shh, don't tell, don't tell. And, oh, look at these! No idea what this is for. Is this like a windscreen that was <laughs> that that was there before and now it's gone? If anyone knows what these are for, let me know in the comments. No idea what they're for. Oh, the details are so good, like the exhaust being rusted and the the ropes, the tow ropes at the back and the tow hooks. Oh, so much beauty. It feels like they've really stepped up the models for these new divisions. Really does feel like that. I mean, look at this. They could have, you could just leave this blank. But look, the, uh, is that a storage crate? You know, they've got the holes in there, which might be to drain out water if it uh, gets water in it. Who knows? I don't know that. Whoa! Six cards of SDKFZ 7-1. Oh, you can only get... I mean, these units, flat rings, basically, are overpowered, I feel, at the moment. They need a tone down. Six cards. They're expensive, but six cards. <laughs> In team get five cards of flak 4188s. Well, they weren't wrong when they said a lot of flak guns. Five cards of flak 4188s and six cards of SDK FZ 71s. In team games, like this division could like power the entire anti-air of, of a 10v10 team that's I mean it, in 1v1 it won't really other than having SDKF sets in every <laughs> in every phase it's not like a major effect but definitely team games this is the deck for anti-air that is for sure artillery what have we got here anything exciting we're gonna skip through a couple of these Mortar half track with 40 shells, easily your A phase artillery pick with 40 shells. You're not arguing with that. You don't need a supply truck in A, saves your card. Vespers, I mean, I always struggle to take the Vespers. Hummels, fantastic, love the Hummels. Beautiful artillery, like heavy artillery pieces. They've also got the SFH 18150, which is the actual gun from the uh, Hummel. So same stats, but this is the static piece. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the new smart orders interact, how people react. And here we have it. I nearly missed this. The uh, 600 millimeter off map. So it's attached to a... Uh, Biplane, the Bayo FI 156C, um, the Colgrat. I'm pretty sure that's a railway gun. Why that has a, ra a rate of fire of 60 rounds a minute? Really? Does that Colgrat really have a fire rate of 60 rounds a minute? I'm, I'm calling that one. That that can't be right. I'm guessing that's because of the way that off map works. That it has to have that rate of fire. It only has three shells. Is that does that mean three? 
uses because you only get three uses out of off map. That must be what that means. It's, it's a bit confusing, really. But I think that's the mechanics of how it works. Damage 30. <laughs> Blast 22,000. Ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean... I, I want... I want... Yeah, I'm going to be taking them for sure. We'll see how big the area is, but... That thing's a tank. That That's an IS-2 killer right there. Aircraft, so we have the Volsham Panzer. It has the Hermann Goring name. I'm hoping there's some nice aircraft. Uh, ME410 A3s, no major difference, I think. One of the things they've changed, though, is the agility gets better with rank, with the veterancy. So this is going to be really interesting in the way that it works with planes because up till now... Pretty much there's been no need to upvet your planes. You just take the most availability so you can have the least number of cards and spend the least number of activation points, especially when it comes to fires. But yeah, those uh, it's going to create some interesting choices. Do you go with a two-star fighter with medium agility or, you know, do you go for the uh, three with very bad agility? Someone, some people are saying that was already in the game, but it was never shown, but I don't know. I don't know whether it's in the game or not. So anyway, we're looking through. We've got the JU-87 D5 with the uh, 450 kilogram bombs and the 1250 kilogram bomb, 105. Oh, another massive change. Um, let's see if we can find a way to show this. So the ME-109 G6 R2... Fighter bomber carries 450 kilogram bombs and flies at 530 kilometers per hour, whereas the mainstay fighter flies at 590 kilometer hours. They've now changed this so that once this G6R2 drops its 50 kilogram bombs, it will fly at the same speed, so 590 kilometers per hour. It should increase its speed to 590 kilometers per hour and therefore become just as fast as the mainstay fighter. What a change. This is a literal amazing change. I mean, people requested it, and I, I would request it, but I never thought they'd actually have the mechanics to do it. So, fantastic change, and it makes... I mean, why would you not spend five points more and get 450 kilogram bombs? Like, it makes... Oh, my God, it makes choices in the air tab, like, at least a little bit better, a little bit more... You know variety and choice so i am looking forward to the new patch definitely so let's just uh just check out the rest oh we've got the ju87 g2 with the gun pods the uh, bk 3.7 gun pod 140 millimeter penetration 166 rounds a minute and these things are beasts at taking out heavy tanks yes great unit i can see these like these being taken a lot and also the ju87 d5 two and a half kilogram cluster plane great plane i can see these being taken so you don't have the heavy tanks but you've got the tank killers and you've got two cards of those ju87 g2s and a card of the ju87 d5s i mean they're slow the stukas to be fair they are slow but you've got <laughs> you've got the anti-air you've got the anti-air so, like, yeah, these, these can take out heavy tanks, no problem. So we've got the ME109 G2, G, sorry, G6R2, and I'm sorry I'm kind of doing this, but look at the way they've got those bombs under there. That looks ace, doesn't it? That looks ace. I love these models. I love the paint job. Such a great paint job. Little, little Kurok sign? No, little electri electricity sign. I wonder what that's to do with the, uh, the H, um, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder whether that's to do with the, um, HF antenna there. I presume that's a HF antenna. Anyway, uh, ME109 G6 BR21 rocket plane, 
two 210mm HE rockets. Four damage, so these can do a lot of damage. And yeah, this is a, actually is a really nice air tab. I mean, it's not like ridiculous, but certainly nice. Certainly nice. Wow. So, that is the Falsham Panzer Hermann Goring. That was my first look at the division and if you haven't been able to tell i am super excited for these dlc divisions super excited right i'm going to pick my unit of the division now i'm not going to pick the storm tiger storm tiger because it's the obvious choice and i'm not the obvious chooser so what unit am I looking for? I really want to pick the Sturm Tiger unit. <laughs> what unit outside of the Sturm Tiger am I most looking forward to? And actually that's a hard pick because that's really interesting. I really want to pick the Sturm Tiger, but I'm not. I'm going to pick the, of course, the Bayo FI 156C, the Kolgarat 600mm off map. Yeah, that thing's going to be a beast and uh, excited to get those 600mm off maps in play. Cannot wait. Obviously, we've got the Sturm Tiger as well. Everyone is going to be loving the Sturm Tiger. And uh, yeah, I can see this division being an absolute favourite among players. That is for sure. Thanks very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. You can tell I'm excited. Catch more Steel Division content. I'm going to be doing more of these um, first look videos over the next couple of days. And then we'll go into... We're, we've still got the cast of the Steel Division League. So, you know, tune in, check those out. Obviously, you know, we're behind there on the uh, previous patch, but we'll soon catch up to this patch and you'll see people sturming away. So, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate all the time that you put in to watch the content. I really hope you enjoy it. Throw me a like if you like the video. Put down your comments. Put down your favourite unit, what you are going to love you using answer the questions that are posed is this the kg co commander or is it a hg commander put it all down in the comments and if you haven't already please subscribe thanks very much for watching i am angry bird i will see you next time